Thanks. Let's welcome to the show from House Oversight <laughs> Congressman Byron Donalds. You just heard us <laughs> talking about you. We hope you didn't mind that. Um, you know, Congressman, it's so good to have you back on. So what do you make of the news today of Senator Chuck Schumer attacking Israel from the Senate floor today when Israel is at war with a Hamas terrorist who massacred 1,200 people and still has U.S. hostages? Is this about that growing protest boycott vote against Biden spreading to multiple states over Gaza? What do you think? Well, first, it's good to be back with you. I found uh, Senator Schumer's comments to be disgusting and not appropriate for an American senator, the leader in the United States Senate, by the way, when our greatest ally in the region is at war with one of their great nemesis. We should be behind Israel every step of the way, not trying to use uh, this moment to dispatch Bibi Netanyahu on a broader perspective. When you are reckless like that with your words, it demonstrates to it demonstrates to Hamas and to the Iranians, for that matter, that they have a foothold in being able to dislodge Israel. That is completely wrong. It is the wrong strategy. It's one of the reasons why our adversaries believe that they can move, get on the move and take territory at a critical time like this. Chuck Schumer's comments were completely out of line, and voters should see very clearly that there is an anti-Israel strain in the Democrat Party. It is sad to see. It is unfortunate, but it is the reality today in 24. Yeah, you know, so Senator Schumer demanding Israel do elections and a two state solution. Does Hamas want a two state solution? No, they don't. Hamas has been, there's been a lot of different uh, agreements that Israel has tried to do with Hamas over the years. It is, it is Hamas that has rejected them repeatedly. Hamas is the one rejecting the, cef the ceasefire now. But let me broaden the topic. A two-state solution, in my view, is not in Israel's interest. What is in Israel's interest are the Abraham Accords that President Trump negotiated and got yeah. signed before he left the presidency. That was leading to true peace in the Middle East. I mean, Hamas wants a one-state solution, wants to wipe Israel off the map. So let's get to this, turning to this story. Why did you join four other, other GOP lawmakers sending a letter to the State Department demanding John Kerry hand over all documents about his shadow diplomacy with Iran during the Trump White House? Because what you can't have is somebody outside the government back-channeling to our, to our enemies. And look, John Kerry gave this lame excuse in House Foreign Affairs Committee talking about, oh, well, you know, Robert F. Kennedy, he back-channeled during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Big difference is uh, Robert F. Kennedy was the attorney general when his brother was president of the United States. He was an official of the administration. John Kerry was, was not. And so when you have this back-channeling, which is a violation of the Logan Act by people who are not in our government going to talk, Talk to our adversaries, it undermines American foreign policy. It definitely undermines President Trump, and he needs to pro provide that information so we can get to the bottom of it. Well, Congressman Donalds, if you are picked as Trump's running mate, will you break the news on the evening edit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, President Trump's going to decide that. Um, knowing him, it can happen at any given time. But got in it. all honesty, look, President Trump's going to win. We just got to make sure that we're prepared to get the job done for the American people. We'll be waiting by the phone. Congressman Donald, thank you so much. It's good to have you on. It's good to see you.